Are you and Claire a couple? Well, Scaphy. Fuck you, piece of shit. The final goal out. He wins the F2 title. Dreams come true. Next move for what? It's easy to say we're bringing our own engine in and Holden, thank god, is in Formula 1. Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I'd get a stroll here if I wanted to, but... Ingles catching. P17. And yes, welcome to Mark Scaife Career Mode Part Free. Insert. Phew. If editing Mitchie, you can do that. Also, too much effort. I don't know. Mark Scaife Career Mode Part Three. Yes, Part One. We were in Formula Two. We took out Devin Butler to win the championship, like anyone would take out their rivals to win a race. Thumbs up. Part two, we were at the Australian Grand Prix with the Holden Racing Team with Tatiana. And uh, after one race, I forget where we finished. I, I should have looked that up. Editing Mitchins, you probably would have put that in before the video. Uh, and now the Holden Racing Team has gone bust. Yes, it's gone bust. And now we're here with Mark Skase's breaking point. And, uh, yeah, Tatiana, unfortunately, uh, does not in Formula 1 anymore after one race. Um, she went to the W Series. Is she in the W Series? I don't know. I don't watch the W Series. W Series is on SBS, okay? It's on fucking SBS. Who watches SBS these days? No one! Except to when it's midnight porn. So it's time for Breaking Point, and, um... Boy, am I ready for this. Um, I have not seen one second of this. Not one second at all. I haven't seen anything about this. All I know is Devin Butler's in it. And there's a guy that looks like an old man. Uh, a guy that kind of looks like Russell Ingle. So, I, I might, so let, let's go th th this way. It's take on the role of F1 rookie, even though we've done one race. Mark Scaife, as he faces against his teammate, Russell Engel, because, let's be honest, this Casper guy looks like, kind of looks like Russell Engel, but not really, and rival Devin Butler, in this action pack story experience! Ah, God, that, that took a lot of breath out of me. Disclaimer here that this was meant to be recorded on a PC, um, I don't know if it was going to be through, F1 through on PC, or on the Xbox, so... I don't know. I don't know what I would have done, but um, yeah, things have um, happened, and not able to get PC this last week. But the PC's coming very, very soon. Wink. So this is the last time I'm recording something through Xbox from Twitch. It's a sad day, but thank God that's happening because it's time for 1080 PC FPS. But it's time for breaking point. I always go middle. I always go middle when I haven't played something before, so... But this is meant to be just a casual go-through of this mode. This isn't meant to be a full-on... Oh, 100%! Ah! It's, not, it's not meant to be that. So we're going to get challenging. Oh. Now... I'd like to point out here that... Um, I would like to point out here that uh, in the previous career mode, I said that Russell Ingle was in Haas. So, for storyline continuity in this Mindscape career mode, I have to go. I have to go with Haas. I just have to. Ah. Okay, so it still gives you the assist that you want. Simulation settings. Okay. Simple, to the point, yeah, okay. So it makes me think maybe I should go with the hard one now. <laughs> I kind of want to go the hard one now. <laughs> but no, I, I'm not trying to challenge myself in this. I'm just trying to enjoy myself, enjoy this. I'm not trying to go for the hardest difficulty. I just want to enjoy myself. 
So that's why I'm going to go in the middle one because it's easier. So, yeah. And I kind of don't want to be here for 13 hours doing this. So watch me have to do it for nine hours because if it was on beginner, it, I'd probably only have to do it for two hours. So here we go. Mark Skate's Breaking Point, Karimo Part 3. Wait a minute. No, this is not right. No, 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 wait a minute, hold on a sec. I think we, whatever this is, I think we need to edit it out, editing, Mitch, because it's, uh, we've already seen this. This has already happened in part one. Oh, oh, it's just celebration, it's just celebrations. Great corner cutting. And Mark Scaife is a two-time Formula 2 World Champion. Two-time! A young Mark Scaife. Just doing superbly. I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Who's that guy? Several months later, having won the Formula 2 Drivers' Championship for a second time, Mark Scaife has now secured a seat in Formula 1 and is preparing to take his first steps in the world's most prodigious motorsport series after being in Formula 1 for like one race. But then the HRT went bust. Oh, here we go. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula 1, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How well, I was in Formula 1 not on too long ago, Will. Behind the wheel your first race to be honest with you will it hasn't really quite sunk in yet the team has given me a fantastic opportunity it's a once in a lifetime yeah, because a I, I, I so, yeah, I'm trying to buy supercars right now so I need to be in a different team I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes you know I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times so yeah it can be a bit overwhelming but out on the track speed the noise, even the smell. I want to. I want to say O'Connell Norris is super one of the uh, old supercar drivers, but <laughs> and what about Casper? It's tough. Are you intimidated at all? Russell Engel, seasoned, experienced driver, is your first teammate in Formula One. How's that relationship? Well, on? I've always well, looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing that's a lie. You've never kids, looked up to Russell Engel. That's a lie. Walls, you know. <laughs> but as it turns out, I'll be I love this, <laughs> which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best, and we can Besides, beat him every race. Start somewhere, right? Aiden, just wondering if we can get <gasps> reaction to the obvious <gasps> comparisons. Oh my God, she's even hotter in this game. One driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here? Oh and to your God. fans who are calling you the new <gasps> Devon Butler? The new Devon Butler. I'm alright with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> well, we did take Devon Butler out well. to win FS, F2 title. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Which season, though? <laughs> Which season? Thanks, I won't let you down. You give me a hell of an opportunity. Also, can you give me a couple extra million? I'm trying to buy out supercars right now. It's very tough. <laughs> just realised this, but... Imagine someone who's not Australian, New Zealander, <laughs> watching this, thinking, what the fuck are you going on about? I don't know. <laughs> Cutscene! Alright. And these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack too. Cut. 
Oh, Russell, come on, man. Well, Russell. He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it. Sure, there's going to be fireworks in the Haas garage tonight. There will be. Well, for sure. Look, it was a late move. Maybe. But you never want to see two teammates yep. make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aiden Jackson, not how his F1 race debut should have gone. Well, fact is, is that, you know, it should have just let me through. <sighs> There's no damage at all. Oh, nice audio. Fuck you. Fuck you. See ya. Goodbye. Yeah, get off in the grass, you piece of shit. Be a P10, even though it could have been a P9, but you know, Russell Ingall had to be in a forcing dick. I'm guessing that's just all the. the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations. The second in 2020? <laughs> yeah, okay. Even though I barely remember the 2020 races. An awkward incident involved with Devin Butler and his own teammate. Oh. Mud. Scase made an outing in Formula 1. Casper. Listen. I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it? Then? Mark, it's a... Who was yours. Who behind the wheel of your car? Hmm? When you made a mistake, I'm. How did they ever sign? Wow. Oh. Oh boy. Um, Devon, I didn't see that. I what, like out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look. Well, I did. Do <laughs> you, you not remember? I took you out. out. <laughs> mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame. You haven't settled in yet. Well, to be f well, well, you did a great move on the two of us, but you know, you know what okay. Russell Ingalls like. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula. Oh my god, she's so hard at this game. What the fuck? Well, stay out of my way, mostly. <laughs> And uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. Where's Mark Howard in the paddock? I mean, uh, sure. Channel 10, where is he? Even though Mark Howard's not a part of Channel 10 anymore. Jeez, Claire, put those chompers away! Fuck! Can I select what? Oh, what? It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favourite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race <laughs> season. <laughs> it looks like Aiden Jackson's continuing the trend. Alexander Alex Albon, remember him? <laughs> so far this season. <laughs> well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. Well, the rumour in the paddock, Crofty, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go, Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin, he's forced his teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. Okay, Aiden, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate. Concentrate? Really the the enforcer just enforced like me again. I can't see any significant damage to that car, oh. so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. I can... If he was... I'll push him off the fucking track. You got the pace. Come on. Hurry up.
Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. What's that swimming race? Okay. <laughs> sure, co-masters. Sure. It's a P9. The race. We can now see the drivers making their way to the... Wow. All right, well, let's see what Russell has to say to himself. I wonder if he's going to have a big sook saying it's my fault. Following an eventful Chinese Grand Prix, tensions are on the rise at Haas as uh, Scaife, Engel, again, make contact with one another following an aggressive overtaken manoeuvre by the veteran. Oh, well, here we go. Casper, what the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper. Come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper. Ackerman. <laughs> Mom. Cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? By now? No. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. Do you want me to take you out again like well, I did in Abu Dhabi in Australia? Right, you know. I'll do it. Ask anyone. What do you mean? <laughs> Ricardo. The paddock talks, mate. <laughs> Not Ricardo! <laughs> Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going up and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. Babysit. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? Because I'm Mark Scaife. We all feel it's sorry for you, mate. You never stood what? a chance with him. Well, yeah, well, my, my team advice? went bust. That's why I had to Prove go back to F2. <laughs> well, I, I finished P9, and I, if I had another lap, I would have been you. Right, chapter three. The recent serious events with his teammate Russell, in um, Russell Engel both on and off the track have marred the start of Masco's rookie F1 season with the French Grand Prix coming up. Scaife is keen to find the form that brought him so much success in F2. What a race we have in store for us today with a competitive field ready to do battle once again. Hold on to the edge of your seat. It's time for another Formula One Grand Prix. What a move. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, we finished P2, and watch, and watch they not even mention it at all, again P2. We've witnessed some great battles this is on hard. Today, and this is on hard. Win. Like, is this as usual? Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. Fuck. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Oh, hi, Claire. 
Congratulations! You got on the podium. That's a fantastic oh. result for both you and the team. How are you? Yeah, it's a team effort. I'm just the one behind the wheel. It was an amazing result today, and I think everyone deserves it. I'm just pleased I could bring it home for them. Well, it's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? I think there's always. I'm settling in. And look, you never know what's around the corner. Change is always difficult, but I think I'm settling in. The team seems happy at least. So there's no current tensions within the team. We've all seen that you and Casper have locked Harden so far this season. Is that something that's now behind you? Well, that's not from me. <laughs> Maybe he thinks I'm yet to prove myself. Who knows? Hopefully today's gone some way to doing that. If there is still a problem between us, it's not from me. Thank you for your time. Wow. Scope put in Tom Ford to the French Grand Prix. To first Mount Haas as a contender in crowd in, in the crowd of mid pack. I came second. I finished ahead both of the Mercedes. Good for you. Alright, Silverson. Capitalized on a fantastic Q3. George Russell is a 21. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm funny. When a front. Uh, if I was career, when a front row punch a front and still ruin his chance of a top five finish with friends and family in the stands and the crowd behind. Sits, Sky sets his sights on salvaging what could, what he can from the race. Okay. So Sky wants a good result at fucking Pirelli. <laughs> Fucking Pirelli bullshit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There we go. Really give me soft tires, mate. <laughs> It's not right. So easy. All right, where do you want? Finishing the points, okay. Oh no, I have to pass single. Oh no, Vettel, Russell, Ricardo. Oh jeez. Mark Scaife. P9 after puncher at his home Grand Prix because let's be honest here we're all immigrants because that's what England people like to bring up every to you to Australia all the time <laughs> you're an immigrant <laughs> next chapter Italian Grand Prix well the grid heads to Monza the team at Haas have managed to find some welcome consistency during the second half of the 2020 season. Both drivers are hungry to gain ground in competition, but Smarscape is determined to outperform his teammate Russell Engel, both in the settings and in the eyes of the team. I'm not sure if it's something to do with the energy storage, but I'm losing power on the straights. Right. And you said the acceleration was okay. Hmm. We'll take a look at it. Do you think Russell may have ruined my power? Smoothly, I hope. All right, Brian. Yeah, we're just going through a few last-minute tweaks. Ah, well, Brian is a chunky boy. Maybe you'll be able to get us back a few more of those points. Yeah, I'll try. Hilarious. I had a call this morning from Mattia Binotto. Mentioned you directly. Oh. I think they're sniffing around for next season. You're being oh. watched. So, no pressure then. Well. So, uh, what's the problem with the car? I'm losing power on the streets. It's not a massive issue. I'm sure we can deal with it. Yeah. Theoretically, do we have time to install the Spec 2 unit before the race? Yes, boss. And Casper's reporting no problems? No. Okay. Let's do it. Put the Spec 2 in Aidens, would you? Well, I would sort it. I mean, 
if you're sure. So you can film that I'm on drive, are you? A little Oh. Besides, anything for our star driver. Well, that's right. How are you today? Feeling good about the race? Come on, Russell, you're doing not bad. <laughs> Again, this is on hard. And I'm betting the fucking past Hamilton for the lead. Well, to be fair, Hamilton shouldn't have gone on the hard tyres. Oh! Hamilton! Turn the car! Well, it's a P4. But it could have been the win. Hamilton just had to ruin my race. Can you give us an update? How is the current relationship between you and Casper Ackerman? Casper's got a way of <laughs> him, you know? He's hot headed. He can get offended easily. I'm learning that I've just got to accept that. Any problems are his, not mine. Great! Well, that's Damn. everything. Oh my god, she still has the great, that's everything. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Great, that's everything. Chapter 6. With only a handful of races remaining in the season time, it's running out for Haas to secure the, point, the points needed to finish above their mid pack rivals in the constructors' championship. A dip in form over the past few races has the team dis. dis I can't speak English. Desperately hoping for a strong performance from both rookie Mark Scaife and veteran Russell Ingall. All right, here we are. I'm here, Ingle. It's clear from anyone watching, either in the stands or at home, the determination on show from Haas and Aidan Jackson today. No, you're not wrong there, Ants. His performance has improved race by race throughout the season, and his driving today, impeccable. Here's a test for him now, though, as they head down the main straight. There's a lot of friction between these two, and his teammates after him. Will he budge? Hold position, Aidan. It's been fine lately, Crofty. Like wow. Before. Oh, oh no! The two mis- <sighs> it, That literally sounds like they've come together, the, the two Mercedes teammates then. Wow. Disaster! <laughs> With neither driver willing to see position, Scaife and Eagle make contact came into turn one. Oh shit. Both cars sustain terminal damage and in the race for the house, shattering teams' chances of securing a top five position in the constructors. Oh, this will be good. Here we go. <laughs> Insert scaife. <laughs> Eastern Creek 03. It's Eastern Creek all over again. <laughs> Go to Gunter and just push Gunter out of the way, like Scaife did with um, one, I think, Ross Stone. <laughs> Wait for someone to say, Mark, leave it alone, mate. Here we go. Hey, what's your problem? We've invested millions in you two. Millions. And look at you. Well, Haas doesn't really have millions. Like, right? You don't like have a millions. Of school kids. You've got a lot to prove this year, boy. And you're swanning around like butter wouldn't melt. And as for you, you should know better. I'm disgusted. You should both be ashamed. Brian, not a I... word. Not a single word. I should fire you both right here and now. You've screwed our chances this season. The team is bigger than you two and your petty squabbles. Grow up! Any more, and you're Tell him. out. Do you hear me? <laughs> I'll finish the season behind the wheel myself if I have to. Imagine Gunton Snyder said something like that. <laughs> Probably has. <laughs> it 
what you got to say, Russell? Huh? What do you got to say? What do you got to say, Russell? Wow, okay. <laughs> well, this fucking thing has finally gotten interesting. Go away. Hey. Stay. So, what did he say? Threaten to fire both of us. He won't. That's not the point. I'll just leave you be. Is Lily okay? Does she know I'm safe? Yeah. She saw you climb out. She's fine. I left her with your mother. Okay, good. You've survived worse, you know? Doesn't make it any easier. Maybe not, but you're not hurt. And you have a family who love you. The rest are just details. I'll see you later. Alright, see you, Jules. Jules Engel. <sighs> so it's now making me want to feel sorry for... Oh, I'm so confused about this mode at the moment. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm Russell Ingle now?